Good day everybody, welcome to Endurance Room. Today, we're talking about setting up the Plosh Palatka to carry your gear into the woods. If you've been watching this channel any length of time, you know that I'm a fan of minimalism, using the least amount of stuff to get the job done. On days like today where I'm just out hiking around and I don't need a lot of gear, then the five C's are more than adequate for me. I like to carry my gear usually in a haversack or maybe you know a small, a small rucksack with East German pack that I did in my last video. I always wondered what it would be like to carry your gear in the plush palatka. And after playing around with it for a little bit, I figured out a way to do it. I thought I'd show you guys. It's really easy. Check it out. So here's a look at the roll all put together. The plush palak has been rolled up with my gear on the inside. At the bottom, I've just got a simple piece of paracord with a lark's head knot tied. There's a stopper knot right here at the end and this acts as a tensioning knot. I clipped in a sh shoulder strap from a Pathfinder water bottle. It's a padded shoulder strap. You could use anything from another haversack, whatever you have lying around. You could also just use paracord to do this. But this is how I have it tied. The key is because you have the weight of your gear pulling down just tying it off around the exterior of the palatka, it would, it would cause slippage and eventually the bottom would pull out through the cordage and your gear would fall. So I'm using these two webbing straps that are on the corner of the palatka. They're just on one corner and if you fold your palatka up in half and mind where these are at, you can use that to secure this strap and secure your gear. To get into the pack, I just take this lark's head knot. You can see how from where my fingers are touching the rope to the end of the rope, this is one string. The other end forms the lark's head knot and tensions down around it. Much like a Prusik loop that I use on my ridge lines. So inside, I've got a steel water bottle folding saw, a roll of bank line, cotton cloth, and my hatchet. To set up the lark's head, all you do is make a bite, fold it down, so you've got these two loops, and then fold it over. It's real simple, it's a real basic knot. With this knot, ideally you want both of these lines at tension to prevent the knot from failing. But because this isn't under a whole lot of tension, having this stopper knot helps prevent that from failing with just one line under tension. So there it is, all dressed up and the lark's head just slides along the length. And the tighter the lark's head is, the more tension you have. It's a really easy way to secure your gear. So to roll it all up, you fold up your palaka with these two tabs exposed on the exterior. This is gonna be the top corner of the bag. By doing that, you create a pocket on the inside. So there's a bottom here because of the fold. When you store your gear, just fit it inside. I'll secure the bottom line first with the lark's head loop that we just made. 
fits over the gear. I grab the, the end knot and slide the lark's head down, tensioning it. Now I've got my two webbing straps. I'm going to tie another lark's head. So I've got the end, made a bite, folding it over on itself. And to complete the roll, I'm just taking this strap. You could use paracord, anything you have lying around. I'm clipping it in. And there it is, I got my gear all rolled up. This is just one way to tie it up, using those lark's heads. You could use cinch straps, you could use bungee cords, but the key to success for me was using these webbing straps to help secure the load. When would you use something like this? When you're just out tramping around like I am today and you don't need a lot of gear but you want to have your palaka with you and cover your basics with at least five C's. Those are your primary tools for affecting survival. This gives me a really nice light and efficient setup. But in another scenario, say I was going out and doing some bushcrafting, doing an overnighter, spending a couple days in the woods. I could take a smaller backpack with just my main essentials and then use the palatka to carry a bedroll right at my hip. After I get to camp and set everything up, I would be done with that roll and then I could go out around the woods and explore with my light pack. So just a couple options. I hope this gives you guys some ideas and you enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe. We've got a thousand subscriber giveaway coming up. You gotta be subscribed to enter. We're gonna be giving away a custom sax knife. Thanks a lot guys, take care.